So, uh, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I just want to say a disclaimer. This video is going to be long, but it's something that I really want to talk about. It's something to me that needs to be out there that needs to be addressed. So, if you don't want to hear someone talking for about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, maybe even 30, maybe an hour, but I want to talk about this. I'm feeling a little under the weather, but uh, my voice, my nose a little plugged up. But uh, yeah, I'm about to do this because I'm about to really press. I got to use my voice more. But I want to talk about critical thinkers. And it's something I really think about deeply because none of us, I don't want to say none of us, but a lot of us do not want to think critical. A critical thinker is someone who thinks outside of the box. Too many people want to think black and white. But it's a gray area. And it's also with the gray area it's a different color aspect it's not just one way two ways or three ways but it's also a one way two way three ways four ways five ways and not even one way one through four or five whatever number these primary numbers we also have these secondary numbers and these these odd numbers and different ways these secondary colors it's not just red blue and yellow but we have violets we have Indigos, we have turquoise, we have green, we have the 1.5s, the 2.5s, 3.6s, 3.7s. It's not just one. It's not just one way, two ways, or three ways. And I think a lot of people are just caught in this way of just thinking. Our brain works in many ways. It's electrons in this. It's electrons in this brain of ours. If you think about electrons, the three words elect. Right. It comes without electricity, positive and negative energies. Our mind, think about electricity. Electricity is a strong voice. Like, you guys wouldn't have better be watching this video if it wasn't for electricity. Like, our body has so much energy in it, and so much different things. And a lot of people don't want us to know us. The people in power do not want us to know about our true energy, our true inner being. And it kills me because. I'm sorry I'm going to say it a lot at one time, but so much of us just think of this one way, think of this one way the system. And then when you think about it, and we tell people to think otherwise, these people who are critical thinkers like myself, we get a lot of critical or criticism for thinking outside of the box. I've been called stupid so many times from people who don't want to think outside of the box. People who just look at numbers or people who just look at statistics just look at this system and think that's the way it's supposed to be, you know. I want to talk about the cops because it's a, it's a bad thing that we're having right now. And I'm on, I had a meme I made about it. It's not the self that cops personally is bad, but it's just the system that we're living that's bad. And the cops are part of the system. And it's not just cops. And it's not because I say you're a cop. It's not saying that you're a bad person, but no, you're working for a corrupt system. It's a complete difference. Just like different things that we don't even know about, like Nestle. Some of us love Nestle. Some of us love Coca-Cola. Some of us love these different companies. But these different companies did some dirty things and still do dirty things. It's not saying because you're a factory worker and working for Coca-Cola, you're a bad person. It's not saying you're a factory worker and working for Nestle, you're a bad person. But Nestle, Coca-Cola, and these all these different products, they did different things to different countries and different things in general. I was talking to someone at work about Haiti, the thing that happened, the earthquake that happened in Haiti. Haiti did not want us there, but then we came there and tried taking things, tried to build up properties before we can take over their land. Critical thinkers think like this, like why are they over there? While well, you're sitting there giving money to Haiti thinking all oh, they need this, but they're thinking no, we don't want these Americans in here. Like I said, this video is going to be out there, I'm going to talk about different subjects, boom, 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 because I... I don't want to make this long video, but it's going to be a long video. But I um, also want to get a lot of subjects out there at one time. So I'm going to just say that. When we look at the healthcare system, medical and stuff, it might look good. I was had an argument about this chick because she, just a while ago, she tried to say she's a student. She didn't realize that, okay, you want to help people. You want to be a doctor. But also doctors, like, I know someone's a doctor. It's a lot of ugliness to it. Like... It's a system in place with that too. You can't also, we can't heal everyone. Like, if the doc, 
this is some real life situations. If that hospital can't afford to take on another person, then that person they're taking care of, that old lady in there, your old great great grandma who's just fighting for her life, you might gotta pull the plug on her because they can't afford to keep having her there. That type of stuff really happens. Does that make you a bad person because you have to kill this person? Like, it's not you that did just killing them literally. But the hospital is like, you know what? This money is more important than this life. And it's so much involved with money that we just create, create it in this illusion that we need it. We don't need money. See, man made rules and laws and these different type of regulations. Yeah, they're good, but also they need to be re-evaluated. Just like life itself needs to be re-evaluated. Man put number on food. When food is out here in general. Like, me being a critical thinker, I think about different things like that. Think about before any of the system was in place. And you can look at Andrew Jackson, what he wanted to do with the, the checks and balances. And the whole different um, the way we spend money. Principles about it. He wanted to change it, but the Federal Reserve, I'm sorry I'm going deep into details, but the Federal Reserve did not want to change it for a reason. We have to look at different things like that, like really expand your mind and, I'm sorry, I know I'm talking about on and on, but I really want people to expand their mind and stop thinking just black and white, like we have to really, really, really think about these things in place. Because I'm looking at things from Trump to media to so much propaganda and we're just being led astray. And a lot of people, it's not that we're being led astray so much because, you know, you can tell me to go jump off a cliff. I'm not going to do it. But so much people are just, you know, jumping off that cliff. So much people are not really thinking at all, like, the consequences of things. I think of things that are asking me, like I said when I first made this video. This whole channel is about, you know, bettering yourself. Because most people just want to ha ha la ha 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 laugh at stuff, but yo, not to sound depressed or not like that, but this world's ugly. We gotta, like, the moment you feel when you laugh, excuse me, <coughs> the moment you feel you laugh, that giddy feeling, you will feel that all day around if you just focus on yourself and find that inner being. This world don't want us to see our inner beauty, our inner beauty, and our inner being. But me, I'm someone who has a high life, and people don't understand that. Like when I talk to people, I'm talking from experience. Like I don't need to entertain myself too much. Like I was even talking to someone on the on the airport, and we were talking about being bored. And being bored is also a good thing, and people made us to believe that being bored is a bad thing. Cause when you're bored, that's when your mind thinks different. Your mind is not, it's not um, processing anything. You're not, you're not occupied with anything. So when you're bored, you can just get in this zone, this zen sort of thing, and just create something beautiful. That's when our inner being comes in. It just kills me because a lot of people look at advertisement, and that's part of the problem too. It's one of the media propaganda and so many things in general. We look at that and they're telling us consume, 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 buy this, buy this, buy this. Oh, you're bored? Buy this smartphone so you can be on your phone all day. Don't work on yourself and realize what you truly are as a person. Like, we are beautiful people. Like, human beings in general, we are beautiful. We're the only people who, the only species that, like, build cars and stuff out here. Like, look at this. Look at animals compared to us. We are very intellectual people. A very, very intellectual species, I should say. And this thing is, it's more of us like that. And there's more species out there. Aliens, different things like that. It's out there. People want to act like if you think that alien is real, then something is wrong with you. It's very arrogant to think that you're the only life form in this world. And this whole universe, the universe is big and we're all around it. Like, we are connected to this inner. We are connected to this universe in so many ways you don't even know. Like I said before on this channel. We all use the bathroom. We all waste. And that waste has to go somewhere. That's what my homeboy told me. He was a Rasta. When we waste, where does that waste go? The ground. What do we eat? We eat fruits and vegetables that grow from the ground. That seed. That manure. That's all that's going in between that seed. 
even the plant, if you just eat animals, the animals are eating that. If the animals you eat is a is a carnivore, just eat uh eat meat. That meat some man somehow ate the ate the um something that came from the earth. We are our one in this thing, and a lot of people don't want to understand that this system is dividing us for they can divide and conquer and we don't know each other. Talk about slavery, it's modern day slavery at its finest. If you look at slavery and what it did to my black people, it stripped us of culture. A lot of people, black Americans, don't know where they came from, don't know their culture, don't know their true self. The same thing goes with us human beings. They're stripping us, and so we don't know our true inner being. I'm going to wrap this video up because I'm talking about a lot. And it might go over some people's heads. It might not. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, my throat is so messed up. But... I hope I got the message across, the gist of this message, to open your mind and realize the true beauty that you have in it, within yourself. Expand your mind and become one with nature, become one with life. Some of people might think it's a hippie thing, but no, like, this system in place is really, you gotta look at a lot of stuff like, yo, this is not really cool. Like, I don't know how to explain it without going off the deep tantrum, but... For real, it's a lot of stuff that, that gets ignored in life, but it's right there in front of us. And I'm going to keep on making these videos for you guys can really open up your mind and see just straight beauty. Because once you get in a high on life like I am, I don't want to sound like that. It kind of like, you know, get like me. I'm not trying to sound like that at all, but no. But if you get on a high on life, you really see like, you don't need alcohol to feel good. You don't need drugs that feel good even though I'm pro weed smoke your weed is good it's from the earth too you need none of this chemical things to feel good like you really can see the world and see so much beautiful things in this thing in this in this, in this place I'm just stuttering in this in this DJ <laughs> no for real uh, you guys bought some of my pre previous videos that red bird I saw it changed my life for real like you see so much beauty in life when you got a high in life and you start thinking critical. Not everyone can be a critical thinker. I know we all have difference in this world. But just because someone thinks different of you, don't assault their character. Do not talk down to them because we are all beautiful people. I hope I got this message off the way I wanted to. It's still more I want to say, but you know, I'll make a part two of this video. I told y'all it's going to be kind of long. I told y'all it's going to be out there. So don't, don't comment talking about some other stuff so i want to say you guys you know share love spread love happy holidays let's come in this new year a nice positive way feeling good feeling great and uh i'm about to make a whole bunch of videos because i'm coming back on this uh i'm about to be more consistent on youtube and, and life in general that being said share love spread love peace hope i feel better too because this junk is annoying like i'm not even sick it's just my nose is stuffed up and ah i feel weird talking but uh yeah, share love and spread love, y'all. Peace. Get a book, man. Reading is fun to mental. Fun to mental. Think. It ain't illegal yet. But they working on it. I want the young motherfuckers in here tonight, no matter what your nationality is, turn the motherfucking TV off for one week and see if you can survive. Motherfuckers are going to a television junkie motherfucking mode. Nigga, ain't no TV. I need my remote, nigga. I'm Jones. Nigga, it's called television programming. They telling you visually the program. You being programmed, nigga. You watching on the news. It was on CNN, it's true. I seen it on Fox. It's real. It's bullshit. You know Obama ain't running shit. Puppet on the string. That nigga ran for office and said, I'ma stop both wars. Didn't he just send 60,000 more troops to Afghanistan? He took them out of Iraq. Them niggas thought they was going home. Shit, nigga, the war over. We going home. He like, nope. 
Over there. That's some fucked up shit. They wise and shit, family thinking these motherfuckers coming home, nigga, they get shipped to a new war. And you know these wars is about what? Money, 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 money. Now, Iraq, we annexed that country. You know, took the oil, nigga. Now, if no one thing you know about American motherfucking history, wherever we land, we don't leave. We already got three bases, permanent bases, in Iraq. We still in Vietnam, still in motherfucking Korea, still got a base in Japan. Everywhere we land, we don't leave. You know what I mean? I thought it was called the United States of America, not the United Empire of Earth. You will do as I say. How the fuck we gonna go over to Iraq and tell them we giving these people freedom? They didn't ask for it. Well, no Iraq is over there. Come on over here. We want to vote. Them motherfuckers was chilling. Now we over in Afghanistan. You know what we there for? Opium. The 90% of the world's opium comes from Holla at your boy. Now, in the Buddhist religion, they smoke opium. There's 1.6 billion Chinese. In order to control China, you must control opium. China owns 90% of our debt. Welcome to China. <laughs> Learn the language, ni hao ma. <laughs> she she ni.